Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Lacana World, and today is Market Watch Day. This time to discuss the Lacana trading card game market, and I just want to dive right into it and get things going here. So let's do that. Like, comment, subscribe, and first chapter booster boxes are back on the rise. They are now 234. They've been going up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and they continue to be going up little by little by little now. Uh, called this, told you this would happen. Again, it's not too late to get some and make some really good profit on it, so make sure that you buy this if you want to invest. We have here the second booster box. Uh, 132 seems to be where it's cooling at right now. Uh, people want more of this set because it's a little bit harder to find and because you need set two cards in your meta decks for set four. Uh, we have our first official uh, thing starting this weekend, I believe, in Chicago for a set four event. It'll really help to take the market and how singles should be. So just keep that in mind as we move forward. If a deck really outperforms this weekend, the singles that reside in that deck will definitely be going up in price. But anyway, this also could affect the sealed price to a certain degree. Uh, and the other two booster boxes, Ursula's Return and Ink and Lands, are very, very cheap with the 113s, 112s. Pretty easy to get your hands on these boxes. But as, as, as of course, always be careful because there are cheap cards in these boxes and you could lose all your money and it's a, a very sad thing potentially. Enchanted rare cards. Uh, in the set four land, they are falling in price quite a bit. Uh, they will continue to probably fall in price unless they're meta dependent cards. Something like Anna though, True Hearted, is not really what I think of as a premium meta card. So something like that might continue to keep falling in price. But uh, yeah. Keep an eye on your Chanted Rare cards for this set. They might bottom out eventually, and then it'll be the good time to grab them for your collection, because they always bounce back. This thing. So it, this is basically 64 bucks here, uh, and then it's 70 bucks, and such, and such, and such. There's a lot of these out in the market now, because they're officially out. Now, I want to be very clear. I do believe this product will, in the years to come, be Investable Icon. I think I mentioned this on the comment video yesterday, but uh, I, I've added more of these to my collection of sealed product, and I thought I wasn't going to be adding anything else to my sealed product co collection, because I thought it was just going to be first chapter booster boxes and uh, the Disney 100 stuff. But this this has really interested me. This really tickles me in my funny area, and I think that this is very good product for long term. Being the first product of what it is, a uh, very special thing. It's gonna be a collector's icon because of what it is and what it represents in the game. So I, I do very much stand like in a year, two years, three years, four years, this will be worth a lot of money. I, I think you should add some to your long-term investment collection if that interests you. Alrighty, Expensive Legendaries, we have Beast and Diablo up there taking the top spot. This does not surprise me. And funny enough, there are people selling this on like Marketplace and such for like 60 bucks. I, I Like it's literally there. You can see it. It's really cool. Uh, same with this, but like Diablo is cooler. Because he's a bird. And he gets played in a really annoying deck, which we'll talk about a little bit later. We have here Robin Hood at 40 bucks. Robin Hood seeing a... You know, a little bit of interest right now, being one of those really good steel cards. That, that's okay, not too bad. Uh, Ursula is up there at 38 bucks, which also doesn't surprise me because it's one of those good emerald cards. And we're in a theme of Ursula-related cards that are good. So yeah, that doesn't really shock me at all. Uh, Rapunzel here. Rapunzel is seeing a lot more hype. We have 36, 85 light play, basically 39 near mint, and it's 40 bucks for near mint at that point in time. So Rapunzel is really starting to rise up. I think people are starting to realize that drawing three cards is really good. I don't know. I don't know how long I've been saying that, probably since the beginning. Uh, and hopefully you caught your Rapunzel's while they were in the, the low third, like low thirties. Now you get some money off them. Uh, Maleficent the Dragon is 30 bucks. Still playable. Ruby Amethyst is still really good. Makes sense of this card, it still sees play. Another dragon that's rising in popularity, I guess, or maybe falling right now, is the Sisu, the Empowered Sibling. Because it's like a little board wipe, like a board wipe for little aggro things. Uh, it is 25 bucks right now. Now, this again is a meta-dependent card. So, if Chicago happens, and a lot of the decks that do well are not attack characters with two attack or less, 
Sisu will completely fall off. However, if the format seems to be dominated by that kind of stuff, Sisu will not fall off. This is how it goes with competitive card games in general. Uh, certain cards will impact certain other cards. And uh, we've seen this in other card games before. Lorcana is just getting warmed up for this kind of stuff. So I'm just letting you guys know what's going to happen. So you guys can you know, kind of take advantage of it if you want to. Nothing will be known until Chicago. Right now, everything is just really speculation. There's a few decks that are like maybe auto tier one. But without a really big 2,000 man tournament to discuss... You know, we'll 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 see where the pudding falls. The pudding fall. I don't know what that's. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But uh, yeah, we'll see where the pudding falls. Yeah. Uh, Bell, strange but special, is kind of holding right now at the twenty three twenty four dollar mark. Uh, blue cards are still good. Bell is still good. Makes sense. All right, whole new world continues to be the most expensive super rare at ten bucks. Not super surprised. This card is really good. Uh, then we have Maui, the most expensive rare again. At 10 bucks. Again, not super surprised with Ruby Amethyst still being a thing that Maui's still around. It's still just the best card for the job. Better than Hercules, anyway. It is what it is. However, something creeping up is the Fishbone Quill. It's actually more expensive now, I believe, than it's almost ever been. And it's because blue is still good. And this card is really, really putting in the work now. It's putting in the mileage, which doesn't like really surprise me. So, what does this mean? It means sell them if you bought them for cheap. Get, get ahead of the hype and get rid of them while you can make some good money on them. Because you had an opportunity to buy these like under five bucks, three, four bucks, right? So now you can cash in and make some good money. Bucky. Everyone's talking about Bucky. Everybody's talking about Bucky. And everyone's talking about the whole rock, paper, scissors. Oh, if you're playing steel to out the bucky, you'll lose to Ruby. Uh, people need to stop. But anyway, uh, yeah, bucky promo card is seeing quite a bit of action. Quite a bit, considering it was just here. And now it's here. It's basically doubled in price. Uh, you know, there is a very cheap version from Rise of the Floodborne. If you want to go cheap, that's okay. Uh, foils are on the rise, which is funny, but it is not max rarity, right? The promo version is the max rarity one. So, uh, yeah. Sell your buckies. Ariel, with the shipping is over five bucks again. Not super surprised we called this. Ariel is crazy this set. Very good card. Uh, I'm not surprised at all. This does surprise me a little bit that Cinderella is this cheap, but I think this card is a really good investment. I think you should at, eat these up while you can for as cheap as possible, because this card will be worth more than three bucks one day. Uh, something that won't be worth more than three bucks one day is Piglet Sturdy Swordsman. This card kind of sucks, honestly, but you know this is just a reminder that sealed booster boxes, while they might be the way sometimes, you really could get hosed, uh, and this is just one example of how that happens. So always buy with caution. And that's it for today. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you later. Bye!